Yo, Darius, did you see it? See what? Everything in the garage. What are you talking about? Follow me, come on. Oh, by the way, nice hat, Skull Vikings. Did you get me Vikings tickets again for my birthday this year? No, I can't do I mean, anything. Oh, I mean, we're playing the Giants at MetLife this year. But yeah, come here. So, you know how we're having a big party this weekend, right? Yeah. Take a look over there behind all the water cases. <laughs> all the water! <laughs> no, not the water. I mean, all right, the adult water. <laughs> all the okay. scotch. All the vodka you need. Oh, I think they even got you a uh, cranberry juice when too. When did this get here? Uh, I want to say yesterday because I came out here during the vlog and noticed they had all this alcohol. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Are you ready to party this weekend? Guess I'm going to have some friends over. Well, you want to know what the crappy thing is though? It's nice that you have friends and I really don't because I tend to burn bridges. But, um, yeah, they didn't get any jack for my ginger. Like The only jack we have is what's in there. So... If you want to be a good sister for my birthday, because you're not getting me Vikings and Giants tickets, or did you? If you I did, can't buy alcohol. Oh, uh, I was gonna say just get me some Jack and Ginger. Anyway, good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, to so never miss out on any videos. No, Daddy, my Jack's in the freezer. No, I like to keep it frozen. It. What were you looking for then? Nothing. Uh, you were looking for something. I don't know what she was looking for, but obviously she's looking for some adult drinks. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Big party this weekend. Literally, my birthday's the 5th, the party's the 6th, and we got the 4th of July. And Wednesday, we're going to have fireworks. In it. So it's literally Wednesday night. My birthday celebration basically starts. I, I guess you could say it's my birth week. Daria, it's my birth week, but you're so annoying. But you're not mom, so you never birthed me. Where's mom? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, I got to find a lady that birthed me and remind her that literally almost 23 years ago she birthed me. Listen, Daria, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, it's usually code Jeff Saxon. I think you can cover this. Go ahead, do it. You got this. <laughs> Come on, you were just saying it off log, please. Yeah, but I was doing Damon's version. All right, well, do a version for me. Come on. No. Okay. Why am I gonna plug your code when I have my own? You have your own code? Yeah. But you're not even an influencer. You're like a micro influencer. Use code Jeff No, no, use code okay. Jeff Saxon. Oh, Jesus, Daria. <laughs> Guys, SeatGeek is an amazing app that allows you to actually purchase tickets for the best possible price for sporting events and also concerts. Use code Jeff Saxon to save 20% off of your first order. Not Jackson, literally. Why are you gonna. She's not even an influencer. Like, use code Jeff Saxon. No, Daria! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do what other people used to do. They literally just bleep what you say and just plug what I say. So I the whole like time, <laughs> Daria's been been plugging Jeff Saxon. So thank you, Daria. No, I feel like they would understand that, <laughs> that I'm using code Jeff Saxon. No, Daria. Guys, use Jeff. Use Jeff. Because Daria doesn't even do you do YouTube anymore. She literally quit I, after a week. I have a busy life. You have a busy life. You work at a hockey rink. You go to college to get no, more knowledge because I go to Jupiter because I got more stupider. You go to college and I have a social life. You don't have a life. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta go find mom still, so thanks for plugging my code. Hey, Zeus, how are you? Yeah, I'm trying to find mom. You know the lady that birthed me? No? You're not my mom. Mom? Mom? No, you're not my mom. So, I got a question. Do you know where my mom is? Because I got to find the lady that birthed me, like, almost 23 years ago. Um, I think she went with Nicole somewhere. Oh, of course. So, my mom is taking my girlfriend out to places and doesn't even <laughs> offer to take me. What's funny, Addison? Are you laughing at me? Because your little brother yesterday literally said, I have no eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, that's right. My three-year-old nephew said I have no eyebrows, which no. isn't even fair. Jacob, what did you say about my eyebrows yesterday? You don't, you don't remember? You told me that I don't have any eyebrows? Do I have eyebrows? No, none of you guys have eyebrows. Only I have eyebrows. Oh I'm tired God. of everybody always telling me I have no eyebrows, including other people, and it's kind of it's kind of mean. Speaking of eyebrows, obviously you guys can't see them because I can't even see them, but my little nephew, my little nephew Harrison said he could do something with his. Harrison, show me what you could do with your eyebrows because I thought it was just funny. Go ahead, go, do it. <laughs> yeah, literally somebody somebody make a gif of that and make my nephew go viral just 
for his eyebrow thing. I think that's actually the funniest thing I've seen so far today is him just messing around doing that with his eyebrows. One eternity later. My mom's finally home. Mom! How you doing? Where you been? Great adventure. Okay, I, I really, I just wanted to know. You went to McDonald's and didn't bring home food? Okay, anyway, that's not the point. Uh, what, what, okay, doesn't matter, but what happened almost 23 years ago? Really? You birthed me! It's, it's my birth week, Mom, come on. Yeah, and? And I, I just wanted to say thank you, because 23 years later, here I am. There you are, in this beautiful house, beautiful yard, and, you know, you're just hanging out. Yeah, 23 years ago. Yeah, yeah, well... <laughs> you want to actually tell them what happened 23 years ago? I think we may have uh, been at a 4th of July party. Well, you were not. You were you were at a 4th. Well, in, in spirit, I was kinda. I mean, in the in the tubby. Oh. <laughs> Did that actually hurt? <laughs> so literally, uh, 23 years ago, my parents were at a 4th of July party, and then all of a sudden, my mom's like, "Oh, I'm about to have a kid," and boom, there I came. I came and ruined the party like I do now. So. Yeah, Uncle Jeff will testify to that. Oh, is he coming to the party this weekend? I have no idea what he's doing. I don't know where he's at. No, you don't? No, I invited him. We'll see if he comes. So almost my birthday. And... You're getting nothing for your birthday and you're going to like it. Yep. Thanks. What am I doing for my birthday? Let's see. The 4th of July, I'm going to get turned up. The 5th of July, my birthday, I'm going to get turned up. And then the 6th of July, I'm going to get turned up. So if you want to know what I'm doing for my birthday, I'm having a good time, Elise. If you remember a few weeks ago, my car actually got egged by Jake Duffner. I mean, all the beef is thankfully over, but there's just still, you can see that's from eggs still, which is kind of like yikes. I mean, there's that dent right there from it. And then there's this little streak, literally, of egg that goes right across my windshield. I don't know how well you guys can see it but with the sun, but it's like I need to take my car to the car wash again just to really get it cleaned off because I don't know, it hasn't come off. I'm starting to affect the paint and it's like, damn. I mean, I forgive Jake for everything that happened. Obviously, he's forgiven me and it takes time to heal all wounds, but it's like, shoot, my car is literally uh, gotta get fixed. Is that? What is that? Uh. But yeah, so that happened, and uh, if you guys remember too, I've been talking about my serpentine belt. Well, I realize now, uh, my serpentine belt is a squealing, so I, had, I think it has to do with the weather. But the other thing I did notice before is uh, now that if I go to turn the AC on, it makes this grinding noise, which I know the AC is affected by the serpentine belt, so I don't know, maybe a pulley slipped, but it just, it's really hot out, and I have no AC in my car, and oh man, this just... It absolutely sucks if I'm gonna be honest. Like, it is so hot outside that I'm already just sweating. I've only been outside for a minute and a half. Oh goodness, it is very hot in here. Let me uh, turn the car on and we're gonna actually see exactly how hot it is outside. 99 degrees. And, uh, oh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna turn my AC on if there's any mechanics here. And listen to how my car sound changes. I wonder if it's gonna do it. No. It's not doing it right now. That's a surprise. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that. It's not doing that thing. Maybe I might be able to have AC, but in the meantime, I'm going to put the windows down so I don't sweat to death in my car. Aha! Now it's finally making that sound. Just listen. Do you hear that? But now watch. Shut the AC off. And it's going to stop. You hear it? For the mechanics out there, not gonna open the windows again because I thought I was gonna be able to have AC in my car today. Uh, for the mechanics that are out there, does that happen from the serpentine belt or do I now need a new AC compressor in my car? I don't know. I, I want to ask somebody that actually has experience and knowledge in this issue uh, because now that I have my windows open, it's nice and cooler, but I, I kind of like my AC, you know? It's 99 degrees outside and I don't want to be dealing with the heat all the time. Are you recording? Yeah. Hey! Oh my god, I look like absolute trash. Ready? Oh, Nicole, did you take my camera over? Oh, wait. Can you... Oh, that's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. My, my nephew and girlfriend all. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Jacob! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. You, you, you took the vlog over for like 30 seconds. Guys, I missed like 
five minutes of the Kardashians. Great, so you're missing the Kardashians. Guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the vlog today. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, aw, hi Addy. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos that I post here on the channel. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out. Remember to stay positive, maybe do anything you put your mind to, and well, peace.